everybody, it's Brian, and welcome to the 42nd Q tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to cover the Q string list. Now if you look up the documentation, the Q string, string list provides a list of strings. Now you might be wondering, why do you need this? You've already got the Q list and Q linked list and Q map. Well, the Q string list adds additional functionality that makes your life working with a list of strings much, much easier. And we're going to cover some of those, so let's just jump right in. I've already got a console program made, and I've included a reference to QDebug. And we will just say, all right, include QStringList. And we'll just call it our list. And we can do, you know, the tried and true list append. And let's just do for each Q string. For each Q string in our list. We're just going to print these out here. Just so we can see the contents of what's going on in there. So we've added a hello to our list here. Now, one thing you can also do is say, Let's say you have a string. So we have a Q string and we call it um, line. And we're just going to say A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So we got this comma separated string here. And what we want to do is we want to get these items into this list. And we want a very simple way of doing that. So what you do is you say list equals line dot split and you just give it a separator so it knows what you want it to split on and let's compile and run this and sure enough A, B, C, D, E, F, G so we've just very simply split all those apart now one thing you can do af after you've done that is let's say we want to do uh, replace in strings and one thing we want to do is we want to replace all the occurrences of a string so we'll say anything that's a B we want it to say Batman. Compile and run this. Sure enough, B has been turned into Batman. Okay. Now let's say we've got our list and we've done some manipulation to it and we want to turn this list into a big string again. So let's just say Q string and we'll call this after equal list join and we want to separate these with a comma again and let's just print this out so Q debug let's actually just comment this out so it doesn't clutter the screen here compile and run and there is our list converted back into a Q string pretty neat and you of course have all the other features of a queued list so one thing you should really do is go out and look at the documentation for the queue string list because I'm leaving a couple things out here um, it's a very very powerful class and if you're going to be working with a list of strings I highly recommend you use the queue string list instead of just a queue list because you get all this added functionality so this is Brian uh, I hope you found this tutorial educational and entertaining and thank you for watching